tip will be taking a look at how to create a train element from your corridor and then how to import a boundary into that train element so you don't have triangles in the concave areas. We're going to start by showing you here that we've got a corridor already processed. If I go into the uh, corridor properties here, you can see the design stage is set to final. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that design stage to final top mesh, which is going to give me a mesh of the um, surface. In view 2, you can see here I've got the mesh being displayed in the default 3D model. Now if I go to my Project Explorer, you can see that my corridor is here, but I do not have a train model yet. To create the train model, I'm going to use my task under the Civil Tools for Train Model do create from elements. When I create from elements I'm going to locate the element to add so in view 2 here I'm going to select that mesh and then once I'm done selecting the mesh I'm just going to reset when I'm done. Now the feature type that I can import I can bring it in as soft break lines or contours either one will work just fine. I'm going to bring this one as soft break line. The edge method right for right now will be set to none and that will create my train element for me. So again I go back to Project Explorer and I've got that train element now created. Now as you can see here my train is creating contours in this concave area but my corridor doesn't represent that. So what I need to do is extract the boundary from the mesh and then use that boundary as an exterior boundary of my train element. To extract the boundary of a mesh I'm going to go to my tasks and you need to make sure that your model set to 3D so that when you go to your task menu you get the ability to see the 3D tools. If I'm in a 2D view you'll notice how the 3D tools disappear. So just make sure that the default 3D model is selected when you go to your tasks. And then when I go to surface modeling and at the bottom down here there are the mesh tools and the last icon here I can extract boundary. Extract Boundary will allow me to select the mesh and making sure that I have a good level selected with Symbology so I'll be able to find it. I can go and select the element and accept it and now it created a new MicroStation graphic for me that I can now import. So getting back to my Civil Tools train model I can add that exterior boundary. So I'm going to add that boundary the terrain model I'm going to add is going to be this element here and I'm going to locate the element to add which will be that exterior boundary. So I'm just going to select that exterior graphic and when I'm done selecting that I reset and what type of feature type is it? I'm going to select boundary. Now you can see right away it cleaned up the contours for me so now there's no more contours. Now if I go to the terrain element and select it I turn off the contours maybe, turn on the triangles, you'll be able to see that none of the triangles are actually outside that exterior boundary that we added. This concludes our tip, creating a train element and exterior boundary for your corridor. For more tips, please visit our website, visioncamp.com. Thanks for watching.